Welcome back to the Pond Video Tribe. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple main generator in Scratch. So let's get started. So at the end of the tutorial, we are going to be having something like this. So we are going to have this map. So we can choose a level, let's say 30. And now you can see over here that we get a map. We can choose and everything like that. Now you might be thinking, oh, you can just make a maze over here. But you can see that these are the only things we have. So let's get started. So first, let me just create, create a new tutorial or a project. And then after that, what you need to do is get these. So you can go to my Scratch profile. The link is in the description below. And you can get the assets from there. Or you can just check the assets and then copy the size and everything from here. So now let's get started. So the first thing that we will need to do is obviously go to the maze sprite. The maze sprite is the one that we're going to be creating the maze with. So the first thing we'll need to do is create some new variables. I delete the my variable as always and make some new variable. So first will be for this x. So for x, you know, let's just name it for this x. So for this x, for this y, Now remember, all of these should be for all sprites. You can hide it right over here. And then after that, make to new. So naming it for this distance. So for this distance. For this sprite only. And then a new one called distance. For this sprite only. Then make a new one called tile size for all sprites. So after you have all of the variables, so you can see we have five variables, we can start coding the game. So first we'll go and start from when green is clicked. Let's say let's broadcast a message and let's name the message make. Uh, make a maze. Make a new maze. So make a new maze. Let's click OK. So when I receive make a new maze, I want to first go to the block code extension on the bottom left of your screen. You will have two blocks and a plus. Then click the pen. So first thing you need to do is arrange all. Then after that, I'm going to do something. So I'm going to go to sensing and ask what difficulty difficulty should the maze maze be. And then after that, let's just go down and we can set our tile size to our answer so we can show our answer here so what should the difficulty of the maze be 30 and the answer is 30 and if we also show the tile size it is 30. now over here let us set tile size to zero for now okay and over here let's just add 10 to 45. okay now let's see Set our size to let's take a times operator and on the first circle let's put a division operator. So we are going to times it by tile size and it's going to be 100 by let's say around 12 would be good for me. And now we can say go to x0 and y0. Okay. So now we'll need to do something. So first point in direction. So 
So let's go to motion and add in a point in direction block. Now I'm going to be pointing in direction again. Take up a times operator and put in. So let's go to our here and let's type in push 90. And then after that, let's go to operators and pick random. I'm going to put negative 1 to 1. Not 1, let's just say around 2. So let's say negative 1 to 2. Then after that, let's set our further distance and our distance to 0. After we have done that, let's go to my blocks and make a new block. And let's name it. Hmm, draw make. It's okay if you run it without screen refresh. So do not click the run without screen refresh block. Let's put it right here. Now, the first thing we'll do is switch our costume to X. So switch costume to X. Then broadcast main generator. Maze made. Let's name it maze made. And obviously, before we switch our costume to X, we will need to add a draw maze block. Okay, so let's just check it out now. Let's see if everything is working. This is good. Everything is working. So let's just hide our player or let's just show it. But for testing, let's hide it. So we have our maze. The first thing I'm going to do is first let me show you the costume. So you can see we have this corridor block over here, right? So we're going to be using this, okay? So what we will want to do is to first so switch costume to corridor and press stamp. Then move tile size step. Then change our distance by one. Okay, so let's just press 20 and something like this should be happening. So you can see that the pathway to go to like the last two or three steps of our maze has been made. And if we say 40, the size increases. If we say 10, the size is really small. So you can like play around with the size like this. And you can see that it is going in a different direction every time. So first it goes down, now it is in the left. And if we try another time, who knows? Can be on a different direction. Like if I press 25, it is still on the left. So you can just play around with that. Okay. So now after that, I want to make a block again. And let's name it record distance. Do not click the run without screen refresh again. And now let us go down and let's set it up right beside it, kind of over here. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is go to our record distance. Now define record. Let's just put in the record distance block right over there and let's see about it. So define record distance if. Distance is greater than further distance. Then set further distance to distance. And now, after we have done that, we just want to set our furthest x and furthest y to our x and y position. So let's set it to our x position and set it to our y position. So we have the decord distance block done. So to explain this block, let's finish coding this up. Then after that, it will be easier to explain the record distance custom block. So let's go back to our draw maze. Now again, we have to create a new block. And this time,
time the block will be called try directions and then we can add start direction obviously do not run without a refresh because you want to see how everything would happen just just put it around over here okay so over here i'm going to do something so firstly let's turn around let's say a couple of times block and then 90 so we can put in 90 over here and then 90 times pick random negative one to one so times pick random negative one to one degree then after that switch costume to our detector costume now obviously we do not need the costume so like costume like detector we do not need it but i'm like you know what let's use it so let's repeat it four times for each direction up down left and right now if it is not touching the bounds so if not touching. Wait a second. Bounds. And I just take up an or operator over here. So touching bounds or touching color. Let's take our yellow. Oops. Sorry. Let's take up our yellow color. Then we will draw me. Right over here and then after that we'll turn around 90 degrees now any direction is okay because you know we are repeating it four times so any direction it will still be okay then point in direction start direction so this is our try direction slot so we can go and try direction so over here we want to try directions from let's say direction. And now there's not a lot left. We can just type and go to our motion and take out the move steps block. And now what the move steps block will do is that we can go and take out the negative operator or minus operator and find out zero minus our tau set or tau size sorry. and obviously we just need to change our distance by negative one now if we try that out it is 20 so you can see that it will take some time to create out a maze so generating a maze as possible as good as possible you can see over here so you can see that it's creating all the borders perfectly. Everything is happening just good. And if we just give this thing a few more seconds, because it might go faster for you. You can see it's on an edge, it's on an edge. Whenever it's finding circles. So what's practically happening here is that when it gets blocked by something, it just tracks back. So it goes back in the direction. And then when it sees a direction it can go to, it just fills that up. So you can see that only that position is left. And here we have it. Our maze maze. And then it goes back to the center. And our maze is technically made. Now, you know what? Let's just make the draw maze, edit it, and make it run without refresh. And if we do it like that again, that's how the maze will be created. So let's wait 30 this time and a maze gets created. So I'm just gonna take it out as I would like you guys to see. So, what's practically happening here is that it's just a further distance to our distance, then this is kind of it's it is kind of like 
garden. So I told you that it is tracking back, right? So for tracking back, you'll also have to record where it goes. And then it will try everything from there. So it goes one step back, try, one step back, try, one step back, and try. So then after that, you can see that it makes a perfectly generated out maze. If I set the maze equal to 40, it won't take a lot of time because, you know, it's the most easiest level. And it just goes on like that. Now, one, one cool thing I would like to show you is that if you go to the bound section, and let's say, let's put a square over here. You, and let's just type in 25. Now, you won't see that early, but let's just now go back to our maze sprite. And let's set it to run without refresh. And let's set it to 20. And you can see that the maze is bound to create it within that circle so you can see that this is the edge so our player can go around there and now that doesn't only include four circles you can even do something like this and if i make it let's put it 20 again you can see that it can even make the line pixelated so that it will work so let's just erase everything over here okay so we have everything already made what else is there to make? Let's make the player move. So let's just quickly just make a move. So I just want the player to start at the position, move normally, and end at the X. And when it ends at the X, it will be able to go to the next level. Okay. So let's make our move block for our player. So obviously, when green flag clicked, I just want to hide our costume. Which was about to do, which was a thing I was about to do at the start, but I just said, you know, let's just press the hide button from there. And make sure to hit the show now. Okay. So, type in, when I receive maze made, maze made, what I want to do is set the size to the size of the map. Because you won't want to change the you know, the player size every time it changes, that would be weird. Like the, the player's bigger than me, that's, that's quite weird. So what you can put, go to sensing, and then just put it the off button, and press size of maze. So, uh, let's just go here, maze, and size of maze. Okay, then after that, we can go to our furthest X and furthest Y. So go to x for this x and for this y. Now remember, the three variables you can see over here were the always show to show to all sprite variables of our maze. Our maze sprite. So first let's go and press wait until over here. So wait until not any key press. Key any press. Okay. So key any so it's any yeah key any press then after that show then repeat until touching maze so we can just go and press out repeat until we are touching the maze so touching maze right over here what you Sorry. Now we will need to move with the tile size by eight. Now, if you go to motion, there's no move with speed. So you can go to my blocks and make a block. And name the block to move speed and run with us to refresh. And now I'm gonna add an input of just call it I just call it dx so or wait for now let's call it c dx and dy is going to be for another custom block so move speed let's say child size by eight around that like the one that i said because i made it before. 
tall size by eight. And then hide and both fast reset made. So let's say hide, let's hide, 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 hide. And then broadcast made. So broadcast, make a new base. Now let's go to our move with speed. So in our move with speed, this is what that we would want to do. So it's going to be a long one. So not that long, like horizontally, it's going to be long. So repeat. So I'm going to put a repeat block. Just a repeat, no until, only repeat. Then we are going to go to round up. Sorry, not round. Abs of and change the app to ceiling of speed. So speed from the top. And now we are going to again create a new block. So let's make a new block and call it move the x y direction x direction y. And run with us to refresh. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is switch costume to square. So we'll have a square costume right over here, and this is a clear, and this is a square. So switch costume to square, and then after that, change x and y by dx and dy. So change x, y, and then change y by the x and the y and then after that if touching color black so if we are touching color black so yeah, obviously it's like this but i like to be specific because you know i might just put it all and the tiny edge of that would be gone and change x by zero minus the amount so change x and y, change x and change y by 0 minus 0 minus, sorry, dx and dy. And then the lastly, we just need to switch our costume to our player costume. Now let's go back to our move speed speed. So, we already have the ceiling of speed there. So, all we need to do is take out our move block. And you know what? Let us put this on the top right over here. So, we got this, we got this, and this over here. And let, just, let me just set this up very nicely. So, kind of like this. And now, and now after that, for let you know, let's just fix the positions like that because this one is going to be quite long. So move. Uh, we are going to go to operators and take out the minus operator, and then let's go here. Key right arrow minus key left arrow press and zero. That's that's it. Actually. And over here. We just need to put it over here and key up arrow minus key down arrow. And if I'm correct, that should pretty much be the game. So if I press 14 now, we get the maze and then just finish the maze quickly. So you can see that we can now play the maze properly. The player movement is good. And if I just finish the maze, And now it asks again. So the next maze should be a difficulty of 30. And now you can see that it has more edges and everything. Now I want to add something. Like you can see that every edge, I don't like this guy. So I want to add something that might make the game a little bit more better. And further make our game, you know, a little bit more better. So what I'm going to do is if so for the turn let's just take out our turn and you know what let's put it here we can just change this by the way so and now after we have that 
I'm going to do so all of this will be the same but over here I'm going to put equal to and pick random 1 to 10 is equal to 1 and you can see that if I put it to 20 now it is too straight like you can see that the maze is too straight so if you put it to 5 would it be any better and 5 let's put it to 20 it's okay but you can put it to 1 to 2 then and if we set it to 20 again yeah this is much more better but if you like it like that you can add it or else if you're like me yeah that piece of photoshop <laughs> and yeah we have the main main generation now so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe until next time the pond video sign is out everything is in the description below check it out now okay so subscribe and the pond reader time please keep scratching Woohoo!